I know it don't fuck you up. Oh, Marcus wants to do five numbers. That's the name of little games. Beat in action, a little different look over here, different vibe over here. So after I played God of War on the PS5, I thought about it and I was like, you know what, man? I got this PS3 right here, man. I want to go and sit back and just look at this and like actually, you know, see if this is like the real deal over here. Let's go back to the OG God of War right here. Now one thing with the PS3 though is I don't have any way of capturing footage on it. I, I, I just generally don't. It does not hook up nicely to the Elgato I have. I even have like an older Elgato that doesn't work with that. I don't know. I don't really know what else so possibly I could do with it. Um, so yeah, this is kind of the footage we have over here. This is the old, old apartment right here that we used to have. There's a setup right here that we used to have. Put it on the big TV, set up the iPad a little bit in front of it and pray for the best in terms of quality over here. So I apologize. Or, you know, not the quaintest or the perfect image. Um, but hopefully we'll do it here, man. So let me give you some thoughts over here. This original Battle War. I had never played it. I played pieces of it. Like, I played the beginning of it before. But that's about it. I never really got too in-depth of it when it came out. I didn't have a PS2. At the time that the PS2 was out, I kind of got it. I was a GameCube kid at that time. We were poor, too. So it's not like I could really afford any other options. Um, so I have a large collection of GameCube games that I've acquired over the years. And I have, like, four or five PS2 games. Uh, and this I'm playing on the PS3. I guess there's like an HD collection that I have and eventually I'll play the second one as well. I then realized that like going into the game, there's a lot of like L and R, like lifting door. I think we'll see here in this clip too. Uh, that you have to like kind of press them uh, to like lift stuff. And I guess the PS3 that I got, the refurbished PS3 that I got, like the control was a little bit busted because the L and R top buttons didn't really work. So I had to go buy another, another controller. Which was pretty weird. I was looking, you know, PS3 controls are kind of expensive. I had to find, like, a third-party like one. Because I was like, I'm not going to be playing this this much. And I had to go to you, so it was cool. But, like, I was like, yo. I was like, who's still paying, like, I don't want to throw a price out there. But, like, $60, $70 for a PS3 controller, man. Like, damn. Like, I'm thinking about maybe if I should get a second PS5 controller. And it's, like, a hell of expensive. I definitely ain't doing for no PS3. Either way, though, the game itself, though, I, I still think it holds up. I mean, it's arcade. It definitely doesn't compare anything to the God of War that we got. 2016 and 2018 I don't know whatever the most recent one is the one that I put on the channel here um, it doesn't compare or stack up to that in any way shape or form for me personally but thinking about the time frame think about the period of time that this guy this game came out like these big uh, boss fights are probably something very different at the time I hadn't played too many like mythology games kind of say like something I tapped into like Greek mythology and stuff like this was pre like you know Assassin's Creed kind of thing that they went back in time so to me, it really hit in a very unique space. It was mature in the sense that there was, like, blood and gore and kind of stuff like that. And, I guess, boobs. But, like, it wasn't, like, mature in any other way. It was kind of childish in a lot of ways. So, I'm very curious to go and see what the sequel does better. Because oftentimes, like, the sequel kind of just improves on what the first one does. So, I'm very curious to see if my report from God of War 2 is going to be like, yo, it's a lot better than the first one. But I was pleasantly surprised if you're going for more of an arcade-style game, this is it. 